Hey guys, it's Jack Punkington here. So, what is this monstrosity doing here? Arguably, this is my new favorite project. And you might be thinking to yourself, that's a Gibson M2, those are terrible. Yes, a lot of people don't like these. I love this one. I paid a very, very nice price for this. Nowhere near the stock price. Nowhere near a, a use price that I've even seen them on Reverb. This was probably the best of all Black Friday sales that I've got. So this thing is modded. I'm taking this on a journey with me because I'm going to do some more work to it. Uh, new coat of paint um, I'm going to do. This finish is interesting but not my thing. But it looks not bad. Gibson burst buckers instead of the pro buckers. They do a lot. New locking lightning bolt bridge fixes the action problem. It does not pull forward and I've got the action really where I like it. Kinda a little higher than as low as you can go. Um, Grover Rotomatic mini tuners that keep this thing in tune and a little Koi Fish Trust Tribe cover. That's where the name of this guitar comes from because this car, car is called Koi. Um, because it's a Koi Fish and some people who are dumb are called Koi. And a lot of people think this is a dumb guitar. I love this guitar. Um, if I tried to stop one, I probably wouldn't like it, but I love this one. So we're gonna shut up and play. Clean on the neck through the 6505 through a new cabinet that was not here before. It's a 412. Uh, I wanted to see what I could get for a very cheap 412. Paid 60 bucks at Guitar Center for this thing. And it's not the best, but it works and it's a 412. <laughs> playing just those style of sound on this guitar middle position It's like someone made a Telecaster from Gibson. That's what this reminds me of. It's the Telecaster I always wanted but never got. So we're going to add a little bit of gain. Neck pickup.
it's like a, I don't know, it's, it's a dream machine for me. Because normally I don't like lightweight guitars, but there's just something special with this thing. <laughs> Finally, high gain neck pickup. <laughs> when I play this thing because it sound it just it sounds great it plays great and it's amazing again this is not stock uh, I don't think it would sound nearly as nice if it was um, so I think if you're gonna buy one of these you're gonna want to change everything my recommendation buy a body off of um, you can buy just the hollow shell of the neck and body off of Stratosphere, um, they sell these. I think the neck and body is like two thirty with shipping, which is pretty much what I paid for this guitar. <laughs> um, and that's a good deal. And then you could just buy like all the parts separate, and then just put whatever you want into here. I got lucky. There's always good deals out there. Don't write this thing off as the worst thing Gibson's ever done. That would be the Firebird Zero, <laughs> which I've played. I like this way better. Um, of course, I'm a single cut guy, so definitely recommend these. Check them out if you're a beginner. This wouldn't be a bad idea for a Christmas present, or if you're a modder, it's perfect, like me. I'm excited. So I really hope this helps get a little positive outlook on these guitars. And I hope you guys like the video. Check it out. Leave me comments. Leave me likes. Subscribe. All that good stuff. Jack Punkington signing out. Peace, guys. Bye.